Well, Tyler, you're kind of getting to the end point now of spring ball with the spring game coming up next week. Just an overview on the offense. How has everything kind of just on an overview been so far for the first couple weeks of spring practice? Yeah, you know, it's been really exciting. Uh, you see a lot of kids with the willingness to work, the willingness to, to understand the ins and outs of the offense, uh, you know, making a couple tweaks here and there. Uh, but the, the core rules and principles of the playbook is intact as far as, you know, running the ball and running the A-gap power. Um, but the biggest thing that as an offense we're preaching is you know having toughness you know mentally and physically um, playing with an unquestioned effort you know every single snap and the way we practice is difficult you know kids are getting a ton of reps um, and I believe in learning by doing so the kids are are getting plenty of repetitions all that practice and then knowing what you're doing Um, you know I think we've got really really good teachers as coaches and they're teaching the ins and outs of the playbook so it's the toughness it's the effort it's the knowing what we're doing that's going to help us be successful and you're seeing that um daily improving you know it was the start of spring ball we're doing really well kind of hit a plateau last week this week we've done a good job um so as coaches that's all we can ask for and these kids are working their tails off i know a lot of people are going to ask obviously after easton stick the quarterback spot a lot of people are going to be curious about and you got four guys battling for that position zeb comes in as a transfer from iowa state so let's start with the with the new guys so to speak on campus how has zeb kind of been getting into the flow understand the offense and just kind of you know having that camaraderie with his teammates yeah yeah, you know, all the quarterbacks are doing a good job and getting about the same repetitions. With Zeb, it's 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 the last part that we talked about. It's the knowledge. It's the knowing the ins and outs. You know, he, he is a tough kid. Uh, comes from a really good high school program. Dad's a head coach. Uh, loves the game of football. Uh, so the effort is 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 unquestioned. He he does a good job with that. It's it's that final piece of really understanding everything and being able being able to just really cut it loose and play fast. And you're seeing some really good growth. Uh, through spring practice here. How big was it for him to get on campus as a transfer in the spring to get these 15 practices, understand the, the playbook, and get that camaraderie with the guys? No, oh, you can't beat it. I mean, he's he's going to be uh, sitting in a better position than, obviously, if he came in the fall. You know, he's, he's understanding uh, how we do things here at NDSU and how we work, and um, I think that's, you know, the end of the day, that's bigger than the playbook. You know, it's understanding the culture and really uh, buying in and investing, truly investing yourself 100% into how we do things. Um, and that's, I think, the most important part. We'll teach him football, but it's truly understanding uh, the hows and whys of, of Bison football and Bison pride. Where have you seen Trey Lance's growth? Uh, a redshirt freshman last year, able to play a couple games with the new redshirt rule. Where have you seen his growth so far in the spring, Tyler? Yeah, you know, I, physically and mentally. I mean, the kid's... Uh, he's a big kid, and um, you've seen that physical growth. Uh, but mentally, it's the overall consistency of understanding why we're doing things, how we're doing things, uh, being able to see things a little bit faster defensively, how things are unfolding. Um, so his growth has, has been pretty good over the spring as well. Uh, specifically for Trey, just being that younger guy, now being a freshman in the program, adding another year, what are some of the things that he has to just continue that are fine-tuned things that you see as a coach that maybe fans might not see on a daily basis? Yeah, just being able to see defenses a little bit faster. Uh, and that's hard now because our defense does a really good job of, uh, of disguising things and uh, holding coverages and getting to coverages late and pressures and then being able to adjust our certain checks. You know, I think that's what's pretty neat about our program is, you know, we've got a lot of youth, but what we probably overlook a little bit is that youth has played against I think arguably the best FCS defense now for 10 practices um, and you even go back to fall camp and all of last year so we're getting a lot of good rep against each other and uh, those four quarterbacks you know Trey, Zab, Noah, Holden, wow, they're doing a good job with being able to identify things, and Coach Hedberg's doing a really good job with them. Last thing on the quarterback spot, I know, uh, you know, Coach Hans said there probably wasn't going to be a specific number one. He was hoping that at the start of spring ball at the end, maybe there might be someone that emerges. Has anyone emerged in your eyes, Tyler, that could be that number one guy if the season was to start tomorrow? Yeah, you're just you're seeing more consistency, and, and that's the biggest thing you're looking for right now. Um, but I don't know. I, I kind of, you, you look at there's there's four good practices left now. Um, 
and it's they're getting a lot of good rep uh, repetitions and I, I think you know by the time after spring ball there could be one but I hey competition's the best thing for this program right now and that's what I truly believe in it's healthy football at the quarterback spot you can say the same thing on the offensive line maybe tight end we'll start with tight end what has been Ellison as a senior crazy to think that he's a senior just like the other day he came from Holly as a raw freshman and you guys are molding him into a senior tight end what does he bring to that tight end spot as an addition of an offensive lineman but someone who can go out in space and catch a football as well yeah he's played in some pretty big moments um so as a as a player within our offense and with our within even our program you look at a, a really dynamic leader um his personal growth uh he's really invested in personal development and trying to be the best teammate the best leader how can he get the most out of another individual even in practice and i think that's where he's kind of taking his game um i'm not even talking football yet you know uh he's still gotten stronger um he, he he's moving around a little bit better uh he, he's catching the ball well he's He's doing a good job. I think it's just kind of really understanding situational football and really, uh, again, understanding the whys and the hows. Okay, well, what could the defense do on fourth and one? Well, you get this type of look. So it's just understanding really um, the football IQ and his football IQ is getting better for a really smart kid. Last thing for you, we'll talk a little bit about the offensive line. Where have you seen the depth? I know we, we mentioned always during spring ball, you want to get depth, you want to get repetitions, but offensive line, specifically at the center spot right now, Tyler, how is that going? Yeah, you could throw five guys in there that are, and they're all doing a pretty good job. You know, starting with Carson Shoney uh, out of Rolla, North Dakota, who's doing a good job. Uh, still working on the consistency of snapping out a gun, um, but he understands you know the id points and where we're going things whether it's zone scheme gap scheme protections he's a smart football player and he he cares he take notes notes in the meeting room uh joe schreiber is doing a good job you know and you've seen a little bit more physical growth out of him zach willis is, is doing a good job whether zach's playing center or guard i don't know but he's showing up um quinn Allo is doing uh, a pretty good job and then you just you throw a couple guys in there and everyone has the ability to go in there and, and play some center so um you know it, it's it's going well and you just continue to see you know maybe it's a mistake here or there but the kids are learning from those mistakes and they're getting better